So a few weeks ago, a leading North American cookware company, a prominent, large North American cookware company, uploaded a blog about fear-based marketing. It was a discussion around why certain words are used within marketing while other ones are excluded and the fear of driving customers to making purchases. And then the blog vanished. Why? So this blog was specifically talking about the way in which companies are marketing cookware going forward. They are saying in the blog that companies are focused on what's not in cookware, but not talking about anything that is in cookware. And this specifically comes from PFAS based cookware that everybody knows as like Teflon, but also talking about ceramic and ceramic is made with chemicals that just that's just the way it is like ceramic is not what we think of as being just a natural product in which comes out of the ground and we apply to you know make it a clay or apply to something it is a chemical based material that is adhered to aluminum or stainless steel and the same idea with with teflon it is made out of chemicals chemicals arguably in teflon are a lot worse than what's in ceramic but it's all made out of chemicals but what's happening within marketing these days is that brands are really just trying to point to what's not in their cookware without talking about what is in their cookware. And that's what this blog tried to discuss, what tried to open up. And the brand that we're talking about here that got very upset about this blog was Hexclad. You might know Hexclad from some of my previous videos. You probably have seen them in your Instagram feed. They spend a ton of money on marketing. They make pretty bold claims and they are fairly omnipresent in the marketing world of cookware. But this video is not about should you or should you not buy nonstick. Like the reality is if you want to buy nonstick and you're educated to what nonstick is, that it's all going to wear out and some's going to wear out faster than others. And it may or may not have chemicals in it. This is things for you to understand. Then go ahead, buy nonstick, use it because you're educated, you're making a good choice. But when brands are telling people really what's not in it and leading them to believe that somehow this is a benign or healthy choice in cookware, they are being misleading. You're making coated cookware, you are using chemicals and you're only stating the chemicals that are not in it and not talking about what is in it. You're misleading people and that's just not being square. And that's something that I really don't like. I want people to be able to buy cookware that they believe is good for them, that they understand of what's in it and what's not in it and to have good proper choices moving forward. But coated cookware companies that sell PFAS, like Teflon based nonstick cookware, just have a harder and harder time. Like now, just generally, everywhere you turn, everybody is saying that the use of the chemicals that are in Teflon based cookware are toxic, they're pervasive, they're gonna last for thousands and thousands of years, they create all these issues. It's become common knowledge, which is great because finally <laughs> that's broken through I don't have to keep banging that drum. Lots of other media agencies and channels are reporting the science, which is tremendous, but that has become very impossible for Teflon based companies to really grow in the marketplace. But the new trend within ceramic based coatings is definitely to market to you that they don't have these forever chemicals to get you to believe that somehow they're good for you, but they are using these posts from different agencies that are doing testing and they're showing you technically that their pans are being measured and graded independently by third parties and then showing that on their website. This is the kind of the new trend of being, hey, we're super healthy and we're green and we don't have to these bad chemicals in them. So this is where the story gets dramatic. The company that originally did the post, the, the blog post that created the stir, they sent three pans out for testing a caraway pan, a Our Place Always pan, and Hexclad pan. Hexclad with a lid, which is interesting. That will matter in a bit. So all three pans came back with no or extremely low levels of any sort of PTFE based materials, right? So just absolute trace of anything. But interestingly, the Hexclad pan came back with elevated levels of lead. And this is really not a lot, like this is above what is uh, deemed appropriate within the regulations from California, which is the highest strictest levels of all of North America. 
and they were just over that. The point here is that with this fear-based marketing, we're led, no point intended, we're led to believe that some cookware is healthier than others. They show you that they don't have chemicals in them that you think are bad for your family, while they will have other chemicals in them, absolutely. Like chemicals are part of the manufacturing process of all coated cookware, no matter what it's made out of. So what I learned is that the company that originally posted the blog that identified this elevated levels of lead in Hexlad cookware, they received a cease and desist letter from Hexlad within hours of posting the blog. Hexlad denies that there's lead in their testing, believes that their own testing shows that there isn't, but they don't supply and didn't supply any of that backup and source material for that claim. Hexclad calls their new ceramic-based mixture proprietary, and they call it their own secret sauce that they are not going to be sharing with anyone. So they're not telling anybody what's in it or what's not in it. I also learned that the company that originally posted the blog didn't intend to create waves. That wasn't the purpose of the blogs. They weren't really pointing anything out except for the science that they had learned. And so they decided to take the blog down. They also sell coated cookware and in my opinion are not yet on the right side of history. So I guess it makes sense to not throw rocks in a glass house. I have reposted the original blog on my website and that link is in the description. And Hexclad, because I know you're watching, that was posted by me, my choice. The company in which I originally wrote that has no knowledge or didn't give me consent to post that. If you want to bully somebody, if you're a little bit pissy, I'm here, come after me. I'm still waiting for the last time that you made threats. However, I'm thankful for this information and I'm happy to dig in to find the truth about more misleading marketing. So there we go. Let me know what you think. And thanks so much.